In today's video, you're going to get to see an absolutely stunning Jaguar. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. Today, you're going to meet a gentleman. His name is David. You've met David before. He owns Collector Car Canada and he has a number of absolutely stunning vehicles and he helps people find those cars all over the world. This is one of his own cars. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a 1988 Jaguar XJ6. It is the Sovereign Edition. It's got this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous color to it. It's got all the fit and finish you'd expect from a Jag and it's absolutely spellbinding. So without further ado, let's hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 1988 Jaguar. Okay, David. Okay, rev the engine. Okay, I'm in. Wow. Boy, is that ever smooth and honk the horn. Perfect, come on out, sir. Your uh, lights are on, by the way. They are. Yeah. There we go. Oh my gosh. What do I say? This is. This is what dreams are made of, this particular car. Uh, this maybe is... 35 years ago. Hey, <laughs> mine today, I'm telling you. I've always loved Jags. So tell Thanks. me what you have here, my friend. This is a 1988 Jaguar XJ6 Sovereign. So there are several generations of XJ6. This is the XJ40 body. Okay. And this is the one with the round headlamps versus there's another iteration of this where the headlamps were a bit more squarer, if I believe? Ah, uh, you're probably right. The Series 3 that this replaced had two round headlamps on each side, but they were different size, a little smaller in the middle. And when I think of the square ones you're talking about, I'm thinking more the Euro look. Which I and, personally and, wasn't a fan of as much. I still prefer the uh, round this, headlamps. I, being that this car was, well, it's not, I guess the British people wouldn't like us calling them part of Europe, but uh, <laughs> the English style is more... We just the, lost a whole bunch of viewers right there. The, the English style is definitely the square flush mount style. And even though this is an English car, I think I like the North American style of headlamps better yeah. on this car. It's lovely. So how long have you had this car, David? I have not had this car long. I lucked into it. I would, definitely was not looking for it. In my business, uh, which we might talk about a little later, yeah. someone recommended to me that I advertise with the Ontario Jaguar Owners Association, ojoa.org. And uh, I, I looked into it. I took a look at their website, got in touch with them about the advertising. Nice bunch of people. I really liked them. And then I thought, geez, I like to be part of the club, not just an advertiser. So I looked at their classifieds on the website. Before I knew it, I was only trying to buy a $100 or $200 uh, <laughs> ad, I bought a car. Wow. But I lucked into finding the original owner of this car, and uh, he'd, he'd had it 34 years, I guess, uh, if my math is right. And uh, he, he, he original owner, 34, 35 years ago, he was in a position to buy a brand new Jaguar. Wow. So he was not a young man. It was time to move, al move it along. But he was particular about who the buyer would going, was going to be. Right. He wanted to be sure so he'd get someone who'd treasure the car. And, yes. and I think I fulfilled that part of the criteria. But he, uh, yeah, an old English guy, and he really treasured the car. There's something so beautiful about this color as well. What is the official name, do you know? Uh, I brushed up on that. I thought you might ask. <laughs> I, I would not be offended if someone called it bronze, but it's called silver birch metallic really? by Jaguar uh, standards. See, I yeah. always called it like a champagne color. Yeah, champagne too. Right, it's gorgeous. I think that's reserved for Mazda 626s of the era. Man, and there's something about 
Well, the cat, you've got to have that. Apparently, I love the license plate, by the way. The proper name is a leaper for that. Really? And as you're, you know, based on your reaction, people love that. And Jaguar doesn't build the cars with those anymore, but people still stick them on. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Now, is this more or less stock? Like, this is how this car came? Yeah, it is stock. It's, uh, it's got a 3.6 liter straight six engine, um, which is a nice highway cruiser. It's not gonna win any acceleration awards. It's not lazy, uh, but yeah, it's stock. Um, and after I bought it, it just needed a few wake ups. Like I say, I think the previous owner, original owner really treasured it. Um, I put some new tires on it. I needed to put a battery in it. Uh, change the oil, just routine stuff. Amazing. And the original rims too, from the looks of it? I think these were original rims on this car. I assume that they're original to this car, yes. 15 inch. Fantastic. They're, the size of this car is just perfect for me. I it, think it's just lovely. It's funny when you park it, it's a little bigger than you think. Yeah. It, it need, you need a little bit of space to park it and but you need to concentrate. But she's got presence. I think that's you know, a good it's, word it's for it, too. It's just lovely. Like, it's just... I, I think elegant's stunning. a good word for yeah. it, too. Uh, but, yeah, it, uh, it's got presence. And the sunroof, again, was standard. Yes, power sunroof. It works power just sunroof. fine. Yeah, wow. yeah. And I guess being a Jag, it's got probably all the bells and whistles, like power everything just about. It's, uh, it's definitely well-equipped. The... the as, as you'll see in any car from 1988 compared to present day standards, the infotainment is a little different. Yes. It's got your, your standard AM, FM, six preset cassette, or maybe it's only five presets. No, six, with a cassette. With a cassette. And right? I think it's all the original speakers. One of the speakers is it a little clickety clack, but okay. I like it original, so I don't have That's any plans fine. to change that. I might replace a speaker, but... Tell me but about I the license plate, stock. David. That's priceless right there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I came up with that. I, it's funny, I don't think of myself as a personalized license plate person, but I have at least four of them. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> but uh, a fondness for them. It's, it's tough, of course, to get something that no one else has thought of. True. But I thought uh, Carnivore suited Jaguar. Oh, definitely. How gorgeous is this machine? Can we yeah. take a look at the engine? Yeah, sure, sure. It's not spotless in there, but it's presentable. Yeah. Look at the size of this beast. So there's the big 3.6 liter straight six. See, it looks like it could have been a V8. Just the size well, of it. Funny you say that. I don't know. I haven't read the details of this in some time. But for some reason, the engineers did not want a V shaped engine going into this and a v-shaped engine will not fit in this engine bay really? okay. and the series 3 xj6 which i mentioned continued to be produced while this xj40 version started in uh, 86 and there wasn't a v-shaped engine in this body until i think it's 1992 i'm sure someone will know and might be able to okay. post in the, co the youtube comments so did they not make at some point a v12 as well definitely and in that Series 3 car I was talking about. There's a V12 available in that. It's called a Vandenplas, I think. Van, uh, yes, that's right. And the, the, it's the same spacing? like the, that, that one's a different body. It is a different uh, body, okay. You, you've caught me on that. I can't recall yeah. if a v, V12 went into this body. But there, something stands out to me about 1992 having researched it. Right. I think at that point it was modified so it could accommodate a V-shaped uh, engine. That's interesting. All the different languages that you see the information in. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So how long have you had the car then, David? Well, I've as long as I've been an advertiser with the OJOA. So okay. that's uh, last, so winter 18 months ago. So not long. Really. And I went and saw, I feel lucky to have gotten this car. And I think I lucked out in that I was willing to go see it in the dead of winter. Right. The, the owner was in Brighton, Ontario. So okay. that's a couple hours east of Toronto. Yeah. And I went in, I was about February 10th or so, and it was minus 30. And I, I saw the condition of the car. As I said earlier, I really wasn't looking for another car. I already have too many. <laughs> and uh, I saw the condition of this car, and I considered that it was the original owner, and I considered that he'd cared for it, and yeah. I considered just the condition and the price he was charging. Right. I couldn't not buy it, but he would not let me take it away 
until the roads were clear of salt yeah, a couple no, months no later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I just realized something. It has the one wiper. That's one right. Sweep. That's one sweep. Eh? One wiper. Wow. Different from your British car, yes, which, which we're has across, which has multiple, three. Three wipers. That's three, doesn't yes, it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's gorgeous. So, David, just let me come around this side. Sure, sure. Oh, the other thing I did uh, for maintenance to wake it up, he told me when I bought it that the air conditioner wasn't working. And of course, it's difficult to test that when it's minus 25 right. in February. Yeah. All I did was go to Princess Auto and get one of those refill cans. And I did that last August and it's working perfectly. So really just need like a free on top up kind of thing? And that Not was it? technically free on, but yes. Yes, I know what you mean. Yes, an aerosol can. This is for... What is that that looks heater? like block heater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I noticed that. I assume it's block heater. I haven't right. used it. Mentioning the AC recharge, I have to tell you why I was motivated to do it because I, I have seven cars, which right. is more than one person needs, no doubt about it. And it's hard to keep them all driving, and keep them all rolling. Yeah. So I drive these cars sparingly, and uh, up until August last year. I didn't really miss the AC, even though in the back of my, my mind, I knew I wanted to take care of it. Yeah. My friends at the OJOA called me in mid-July last year, and they told me of this couple who was getting married. Okay. And the fella getting married, he was about, oh, he was born around the time this car was built. Why don't okay. I say that? Yeah. And he was really keen on having a car just like this on his wedding day. And he said he could find a Rolls Royce, he could find a Cadillac, he could even, even find a Bentley to take him to his wedding, but no one had a Jaguar. Oh, so wow. one, of his, one of his friends suggested he call the club and my car fit the bill. As an advertiser, they know my car, they know Good who I am you. and, and yeah. the car a little bit. And I always have a million things to do on the, the weekends in the summer because of my business. Right. All fun stuff with cars, of course, mind you. Yes. But it, as it turned out, this fella lived about 15 minutes from me. The church was five minutes from there. And it was just su such a fun oh car enthusiast gosh. opportunity. I took him and his wife to their wedding. Good and it was, for you. We you had were a ball. the chauffeur I was a chauffeur. Yeah, I, even put, I even put on a suit, which is oh, my normal even style. Nice. Fantastic. But yeah, it was a really fun thing. And I've kept in distant touch with them too. Good for you. Yeah, for you. yeah, it's neat. How much space is there in the trunk? The trunk? is bigger than I would have expected. There's a bunch of junk in there right now, but I'll show you the trunk. The biggest thing is my car cover, which I put on it when I'm not using it. But there's a pretty good space. It's really it's deep. It's deep, yeah. It's really deep, yeah. It's surprising how deep And there's, a, I think it's a full-size spare foot that's, well, this should be evidence that they're the original wheels. Because yeah. that's the same wheel, just without the center cap. Right on. And the old Pirelli's. At yeah, that, I figure that must be stock, although it looks like it's been used once or twice, maybe. Yeah, I know that. But with that, wheel yes. as the spare yeah. i'm thinking that's all matching speak it's a to the matching set yeah. yeah i said xj6 earlier i left out the sovereign as a sovereign i think so, technically it's xj6 sovereign so they did some upgrades i suppose to make it into the sovereign like it was there it's just a trim level okay there, there's a one with a, a more base trim yeah i love the gas uh cap right there. yeah it's kind of neat it's kind of neat and is that remote from inside it pops or is it a manual uh, right now, it's uh -huh. manual. Okay, Why don't I say that? right. But there was a lever, right? <laughs> it's beautiful. May I take a look inside? Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. We can open it all up. David, it's this wooden, this walnutty finish, and it's well, just magnificent. Let me know when you're ready for the pièce de résistance. Oh, wait, wait, there's more? <laughs> <laughs> the f one fun thing is, it, it, it's short one. It came with a set of three, but there are lamb's wool mats in the car so the drivers the drivers here, the driver's seriously? mat is missing the the driver's well, lens will mat let so, me let me absorb this for yeah me. sure wow but yeah the other other three mats are lamb's wool and apparently they they uh start a stench if they ever get wet not okay. that i drive this car in the rain this is a factory option is a lamb's wool mat i i think it was a factory option yes i don't know that it was standard yeah. Let me, let me but when feel. I when oh I talk God, it's, it's, when it's I talk gorgeous. about when I talk about it with the other members of the Jaguar Club, they're yeah. not. Th it doesn't seem surprising to them that there's lambs wool mats. Okay, this is what's getting me now. Which look part? at this dash and all these I, controls. So yeah, this car was built when I was 17 years old. Okay, so you're dating yourself. Oh, that's that. okay. Um, wow. And uh, I 
I seem to still love the cars that were being built when I got my driver's license. Right. And the thing that really struck me about this, I didn't, I was in one in maybe 1990 or so, but these panels with the controls on each side of the steering wheel, there's something about those I really like. Oh, priceless. But that, uh, that veneer really is neat. Oh, and it's lovely. in really good shape. I have a Mercedes that's much newer than this car. Uh, and the wood has some cracks in it. I don't think there are any cracks in this one. But even the controls here for the power seat adjustments are, are really, really cool. And it's even got a heated seat and it even works wow. on both sides. That, that shifter yes. um, is also lovely. I knew that as a J-gate shifter. I think Jaguar uh, used that term in its promotion of the car. Through my business, I've gotten to know Jim Kenzie a little bit, the, the well-known retired star chief automotive uh, reviewer as well as he he was on motoring tv for a long time but he told me the slang yeah. there was a fella named randall involved in engineering the car so he called it a randall handle really yeah so that's that's kind <laughs> of priceless a so here's the piece of okay, oh, yes. what i was talking about so more wood veneer back here oh, and it's ready for your jar of gray poupon gosh yes Look at this. I gotta sit here, David. Sure. I'm sorry. I gotta feel like the part yeah, of a sure. chauffeur driven car. I don't think anyone's been back there since the Look bride, at that. Kevin. I'm the first one for a while. I think you're the first since the bride. It just feels sacrilegious somehow to be putting feet on a lamb's wood <laughs> like this. But, <laughs> but this is so cool. Yeah, it's neat. It just it flips up pretty easily. Man. It, Realistically, that surface is so small, it's not really I very know. functional. But, <laughs> but what the, the fact it's there. Fit and for look a queen. This. They got lights above There are there lights too. on those headrests, yeah, that? to keep your great poupon lit oh, up. Oh, yes, you got to see. But that. yeah, I like to say those uh, tray tables are fit for the, for the queen, but maybe now I, I should say the king. Sorry, let me, how do you pop yep, this down? Push it up from the below. Oh, you do it. Hang on. I think. I haven't done it too many times. I don't remember now. There's a knack, isn't there? There is. <laughs> I might get into your personal space I'll, if I I'll do what I want to do. Edit that Let me get to the other side. Let's do it on this one, then. <laughs> oh, it's go. the other way. You know, that's more like a shot glass holder, David. Yeah. <laughs> that's I what I'm so. thinking. On the rocks, I guess right? So. Sure. Nothing but uh, Johnny Walker Blue Label, I think, is mm -hmm. uh, is good for this beauty. It's, it's just magnificent. Yeah, it's, it's been well kept. I, I really owe Alan a lot to how well he kept the car for me. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to hang on to it for 34 years. <laughs> now, what's the intention though, David? Are you planning to sell it? Is that the thing? Or no. Are you hold on to this little girl? No, I, I don't have any reason to sell this. I, despite its condition, it's not worth a lot of money. And... Uh, I don't, so I don't have a, I only say that because it's not like I have a whole bunch of money tied up in it. Um, as long as I'm able to find a place to park it, I'm going to keep it. I also like being involved with the OJOA as a club member. Right. They, they organize some fun events. That's it actually, I, I wish I'd thought to bring it, but I, this car won its class at the OJOA Concours last last August right, in right Hamilton. Right here in, oh. It was in, in Hamilton. So okay. oh, the O is for Ontario. So I guess they're drawing crowd is all of Ontario but it was at the Hamilton Airport which was a great place uh, we had a hangar to ourselves oh, it was that's a fantastic. great place for a car it's show a great location yeah yeah man it's beautiful David gorgeous you know it's the little things like the trim like the chrome there I'm all about it, shine as it, you know well and it's not all scraped up no, either that's what I really like about very it very well taken care of yeah he made sure that you didn't Put your foot on it as you stepped in. You stepped right. into the car. Yeah, that's right. And I've got no reason to disbelieve, Alan, that the car was never driven in the winter. No. Barely even in the rain. Now, here's the funny thing. Is there an ashtray in here? Uh, yeah, there's an ashtray in the center oh, console. Oh, it's in the middle. Okay. I can show it to you. It even opens elegantly. Does it really? Kevin. Okay, yeah. let's, let's do that. I think it goes like a little something like this. Yeah. Oh, it's sort of that dampened effect, yeah. isn't it? It's got a bit of a shock. Fantastic. Maybe. Oh, I love it. So here's the funny thing. My uncle, back in England, used yes. to work for British Leyland. Oh, really? He worked on the Triumphs. He worked on the TR7. He was okay. actually on the assembly line. Yes. And he worked for a bit at Jaguar Land Rover. Or in Jaguar Coventry, then? then? In Coventry. Yes. Right? So he would come home with 
I guess they were spare parts. We'll call them spare parts. One of the things he gave me once was the ashtray and it had the black lid on it. It was priceless. I, I wish I'd kept it. It was out of a Jaguar? And, yeah, 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 yeah. And he gave me these little side markers. Yeah, I like that, those. Like, oh, this bad. I but I asked him, I said, listen, this is all nice, but this is what I really want is one of these. A leaper. Yeah, but yeah. he couldn't get one of those because they were he, like guarded like a uh, secret. He would probably cringe at hearing us not pronouncing it Jaguar. Jaguar, yes. yes. Like the Brits do. Yes. But yeah, the I data. I still say Jaguar. The yeah. data plate for the, the car is still over here. And it starts with manufactured by Jaguar Cars Limited, Coventry, England. Wow. Let me have a look at that because sure. that, that in itself is something. Yeah. Yeah, it speaks to the originality of the car. Where do you see that? Where it's say but that? at the bottom of the B pillar there. Oh, right. Yeah. So S is the first character in the VIN, means the car was built in England. How about that? Fantastic. Beautiful. Like everything. How clean is this car, though, David? Like I, it's like I say, uh, I saw this car and how clean it was. I, I couldn't not buy it. Because, I mean, you can clean it, but then nobody bothers about places like yeah, here. That's but right. Here. And uh, for the amount of time I drive it, yeah. uh, I do appreciate it and enjoy it when I do drive it. She's but keeper. I don't drive it too, too much, and yeah. it's easy to keep clean. One thing I'd like to do is replace these lenses on the sides. Right. Yeah. Maybe even the taillight lenses. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when it's I... It's just over time, right? Yeah. Functional, functionally, they're fine. The, uh, the, now, the tailpipes again they're original they had always the twin pipes i believe that's original yeah yeah and there's that's, you see kind of the overspray there is that from like the I, I think, or something i think that's the opposite i think that's wear but oh, i i can't okay. figure out how it got worn like that yeah it is strange um maybe somebody watching will will recognize that would be great i'd love to read that as a comment yeah. but the the lights that are within the bumper remind me of there are two things, either they're strange about this car or I just haven't figured them out yet. The lights that are integrated into the bumper right. are fog lights. Right. So it's a common thing for European cars yeah. to have rear yeah. fog lights. And it's not like as, a one and sometimes they have two. So right, it depends, yeah, right? depending on the manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, not as common for North American cars yeah. to have them. But I believe this car has a set of rear fog lights but no front fog lights. Interesting. Which is a bit counterintuitive. Yeah. Again, a viewer might know better than I. And the other thing I'm surprised about, given the way this car is appointed, the wheel doesn't, the steering wheel doesn't tilt. Really? Yeah. So it's always in that, bit, but you can put it in and out. I don't think it telescopes it either. Do anything. Okay. Telescope, telescopic, I think, is a higher, a higher level item. Okay. Oh, I might have just found out how it does. Saying that. <laughs> Get out of here. Was that it? Oh, no, that's the telescope, maybe. Yeah, it oh, does telescope. Go. Okay, it does telescope. But out. I don't think it tilts. I had found the telescopic part. Okay, okay. Previously, I'd forgotten about it. No, no I don't think it tilts. She's magnificent, David. Thank you. Thank well, you. we've talked about it a bit. Shall we go yes. for a little drive? I'm sure, I'd love to take Let's you for a ride, that. Kevin. Oh, she's smooth. Look at the gauges for crying out loud. Digital uh, at that, hey? W one thing about this car I've read about in researching it, some people have had trouble with the digital portion of that dash. Okay. Um, I got surface records when I bought it the, and I didn't see anything related to it and the owner, previous owner didn't tell me anything. So this car's been lucky so far, I think. That's amazing. Because you know it's a headache, right? Like, oh, I'm sure cars. it would be a headache. If Even it, on uh, modern cars, it's a nuisance. So. Oh, well, modern cars are a little more electronic, yeah. All right. Well, Ready to go? go. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, she's so smooth. It is smooth, yeah. Even it even downshifts elegantly. If I'm in the on the highway, I'm in right. fourth, and I give it some juice, and it downshifts to third. It's not in a big hurry, but it's a very smooth shift. And of course, the transmission in this is mechanical, not electronic, like right. a modern style. But there's an elegance to this car, isn't there? Like I, it's hard I think to there is. And one thing about driving it is you're not really tempted to push it. It, it, 
you, you're inclined to just behave yourself. Yes, you're going to just cruise. It's <laughs> designed right. for driving in style. It is. A Pretend cruiser. you have your little champagne glass on the side <laughs> and uh, or great coupon. One thing that's unique about this, another thing that's unique about this car, the the turn signal stock here. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm going indicate, to uh, right. indicate now. You can see I push it up to engage the yes. turn signal, but it just reverts back to home and it cancels itself. Right. But if it doesn't cancel by the steering wheel, I've got to do it myself okay. by pushing it yes, down yes. in the opposite direction of the way I turned. Okay. I've had BMWs right. that function almost the same way, but you push it back in the same way you just turned to cancel it. Oh, really? So it's been a bit counterintuitive for me getting used to this. My MG does that. It'll stick every now and again. It's just yeah. a little gentle nudge to yeah. to kind of remind it. But it's got a nice sound even for the indicator. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Very, very nice. This kills me. I love that. And look what the speed control. I've, I've used the thing, cruise like, control, priceless. yes, and it works 95% of the time. A couple right. times it hasn't worked. But all this trip computer stuff I haven't gotten no, into no. and I don't really need to for that. No, it's just a gimmick, car. But, uh, but hey, David, what the heck? No cup holders on this thing? Ah, uh, come on. Kevin, <laughs> it's a 1988. Well, no, you, what you They're do. They're the shot glass Exactly. Outlines. You yeah. stop the car, you get out, you go to the back, you have a little drink, then you drive. I wouldn't... <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd oh, call I call that. A shot of coffee. What, what do you right, think of that? Right, right. Yeah. I don't think those are... Uh, we can call those cup holders. They're more like cup outlines. <laughs> yes. I think only for stationary purposes, right? Sure, I don't think yeah. you'd be moving and having that. But the ride is so nice, David. Yeah, it's a smooth ride. Right? Very, very cool. And the, even the it. leather, you can touch it, Kevin. Yeah. It's, it's just... It feels so, right. It just, it's just something there. It's not my quality. Honda, it's not the leather of my Honda Prelude. Yes. It's a quality thing. Even the, they even covered the horn. Yeah. Well, this isn't the horn, actually. The, the horn's on the turn signal stock. Is it really? So, yeah. so that center thing does nothing. No, other it's than just look a good. design. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No way today they put leather there. I'll, I'll demonstrate the horn, but we're not going to scare anyone. I'll right. just show you how to use the stock it's for it. It's a good horn, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty good. And she takes those nicely. If you're careful, yeah. Very nice. Uh, I should have just gone around the bump. Oh well. Well, you were demonstrating its uh, Park beside this its beautiful ability. MG. Thank you, sir. And here's my horn demo for you. You can oh, see yeah, the trumpet see actually. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. A little different. In fact. Back in the days when I was learning to drive, one of my friends back in those days, his parents had a Ford Fairmont station wagon, I believe it was a 1980 model. Right. And the horn was the same setup. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And after this car was built, I think, yes. Ford owned Jaguar, certainly after the Fairmont was built. Hey, may I ask you a favor? Sure. Under the visor, can I yes. put it down? Sure. Is there... Okay. It's... I was expecting somehow. Oh, that reminds oh, me of something else I need yes. to do. But like it's not like a, a wooden panel here, is it? No, it's just, no wood there. Just yeah. a mirror. I don't think there are any lights. Just the mirror. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yet they've got it here. <laughs> well, we do have some light there and some wood there. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And oh yes. A roof in action. Which <laughs> Very nice. Everything works. It's great. With old cars, though, David, it's always one of those you have a little prayer before you press a button <laughs> just to make sure the thing works. Is that how I'll never get stranded? <laughs> yes. Because I've been stranded a couple of times. I didn't know that, that trick. you gotta, you got to test everything before you do anything. Glad to know it. How cool is that? Plus, you got the old cassette deck in there. Oh, sorry for the buzz, but I thought I'd show you that. Yeah, no yeah. worries. That's lovely. Very nice. And that, you can feel the AC blowing yeah. cold. Yeah, hey, but nice. no CD player. No, 88's before CD players really oh, went in cars. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah maybe. I forget when they came about now. Yeah. Now, who the hell uses CDs nowadays, too, right? Well, when they came, that was uh, going to be the last one, but... Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right, David, okay. thank you again. This oh, it's is been another a... one of your beautiful cars. It's been a uh, pleasure, Kevin. I, I, I just love it when people are interested in the cars I have. I, I do have a number of them, but most of them are a little on the obscure side. 
This is not a sought after car, but I still find it lovable. So it's always fun for me when people are interested. You know what, I think it's also kind of nice that I kind of assume that because you have so many cars and because of your business that you probably want to sell it at some point ah. or be on the market. But the fact that no, this is something you want to hold on to is kind of, it's nice to see that there's no, some value this, to it. This you. one's a keeper. And if we do another video, the one I'll do next will, is a car I've owned 19 years now. Okay. I met a man in my early 30s who owned an MG, I can't remember if it was a TC or a TD, but he'd owned it 50 years. And that made an impression on me. Right. So the only thing I've got a chance with is this other car I right have in mind on. You're that I've owned for 19 for so far. All but right. he had a head start on me. No problem. But again, David, what can I say? Thank you so much. Thanks, Kevin. Thank Amazing. you again. Thanks again for your interest. Okay, love you.